According to the Cambridge Dictionary, the adjective cocky means being very confident, usually in a way that is slightly annoying. In basketball terms, it's equivalent to someone talking trash and acting like they're Michael Jordan. Just take a look at these clips. There is no YouTuber that wants to play me. Y'all know I'm the best YouTuber basketball player on the planet. Y'all know I have all the badges. You feel me? But I can't find no competition, man. I want to let y'all know specifically that there is no YouTuber on the planet that want to get exposed by me. Because they know if they lose to me, they is not going to hear the end of it. Although a lot of times when someone acts arrogant and cocky, it backfires on them. Almost immediately, however, sometimes it pays off, especially when they back it up by actually winning and showing off their skills. These are the rare cases of cocky hoopers being actually as good as they claim they are. Marcellus is not a hooper that is known for trash talking as much. He's usually humble. He's a chill dude. But he's the type of person to talk smack, beat you in a 1v1, and rub it in your face. Don't get it twisted, now. And that's exactly what happened when Kenny Child challenged him to a 1v1. I'm coming for the backyard legends. It's just like you first, Marcellus. If this video gets 7k likes, I'm playing Marcellus one-on-one -on -one for 10k, bro. Obviously, Cell didn't appreciate Kenny's comments and immediately fired back, clowning Kenny every chance he got. If Kenny wins this game, I will cash at 5 of y'all $100. I haven't even watched it yet. That's how that's how much I know Kenny lost his game. Now I'm, ha I'm having a field day roasting his <laughs> Come on, Kenny. Oh! Starting to realize a lot of stuff. That you not him. You gotta go for one that more. you don't you're not a basketball player that, bro you, you you're not you're, this is this is gonna be i'm gonna have, i can't wait to play i'm gonna have a field day like as god is off the bat people didn't like how howard's energy was and most people in the basketball community were rooting for kenny however what they didn't know is that marcellus is not just a trash dog he's a cocky hooper that can back it up with his skills <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was that was that was, that was low key a flex. That that that, that little that, that little lady he just did was low key a flex. That was low key a flex. I ain't gonna lie, Kenny. <laughs> that that was actually kind of sexy. Kenny not win right right off that lay alone. Kenny not winning, bro. Kenny not winning. <laughs> right off that layup alone. Kenny not winning, bro. <laughs> hey. During the entire game, Marcellus was not only talking smack to Kenny Chow but he was also backing it up the entire time. In fact, Kenny lost so bad that he was happy that he didn't go scoreless and get skunked. Yo, Don Chidi, baby on dish, no CD, got a seat to the Um, other than, you know, I tried my hardest, I did my best. I'm just glad I didn't have zero, you know what I'm saying? I, I actually would have been really disappointed. Even after the game was over, Cell didn't ease up with the trash talk and upped his antics even further this time by gifting Kenny a shirt that literally says Kenny Chow is ass taking trash talk to another level and showing everybody that he's not just all talk. He will embarrass. Busted your from all your people. Come on, it's a good game. You know what I'm saying? Good game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Great match. That's how we bust it. Get out of here. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> You see it? Yep. It's widely believed that T-Jazz is one of the best hoopers on the platform. And almost every time that he goes against anyone, everyone is betting on him. Even his opponents are cautious and sometimes are even worried when they know that they have to go against him. However, this time his opponent not only was worried about t jazzs skills, but was more than confident that he would smoke t jazz in a 1v1. And being borderline cocky and overestimating himself. So we looking for me versus Cam in the finals, that's the goal. t jazz you know what I'm saying? He pressure, don't get me wrong. But uh, he ain't never met no crash dummy. Like I said, T Jazz is raw. Like I ain't taking that away from 
But he ain't never met Crash Dummy, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Oh, bro, it finna get aggressive. You know what I mean? Yeah. As you can see, Ryan was talking crazy. And a lot of people thought that he would be just another trash talk getting humbled by TJ. However, when the day came, Ryan proved everyone wrong by beating t -Jazz, showing everyone who doubted him that he's not delusional, but he's a skilled hooper who can back it up. The rules is rules. A lot of contact. There it is. Crash with the upset victory. Wow, Crash Dummy. Looking like Jimmy Butler in the finals in the bubble. A, tr a true 16. Arguably one of the best basketball players on this platform, Devin the Lab, is considered to be an OG and a legend in the basketball YouTube community. However, at the time, he was going at it with a rising star and elite Hooper, who many consider to be the most skilled, versatile ball player on YouTube. And that Hooper is none other than Devontae Freeman. LSK went as far as to rank Frigga above Devin Lab on a top 40 basketball YouTuber list. However, Despite the praise and the overwhelming support that Frigga was getting, Devin didn't seem to let it bother him whatsoever. In fact, he was clowning Devontae the entire time. Dev was absolutely cocky. He was so confident to the point that he was underestimating Frigga. The game ended up happening and both of them tried their best and the results were Dev in the lab cooking Frigga the entire time. Frigga ended up losing badly that Dev almost didn't even break a sweat. It was a prime example of someone talking the talk and walking the walk. Bye-bye. Here's the move. I need to know where you were going. Fluminati, or better known as Spiritual So, is a YouTuber that makes spiritual videos and talks about conspiracy things. However, he was so heavily engaged with the YouTube basketball team, almost everyone that watches him knows that he's super confident to the point that he comes off a bit cocky. I knew this was trash. I knew it. I knew flight was trash. I already knew. So Illuminati was going at it with almost every other YouTuber in the 2K community, calling out everyone to a one for one. One of these YouTubers was none other than Flight Reacts. If you want to see So Illuminati versus Flight 1v1, a friendly 1v1 game, Flight, I would give you 10 points going up to 11. All you got to do is score one point, the loser gets punished. Flight ended up accepting the challenge, preparing for the game. However, So Illuminati was so arrogant and cocky that not only he didn't even prepare to play flight, but he showed up in literal jeans. Bro, I'm finna dunk on this. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to play him just like he. You know what I'm saying? Hoodie so in the building, Louis so in the building, Lincoln by L, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see how confident I am? I got a game, I got a game in a minute. I got a game in a minute. Look how confident I am. I'm about to play flight just like these. Unfortunately for Flight, Soluminati's arrogance and cockiness paid off, and he managed to skunk Flight 11-0 without breaking a sweat. Not only did he call him trash and clown him the entire time and months leading up to this, but also dropped him off in jeans. What you got a tattoo him, man? You got me, man. I'm play fair. I'm gonna get credit for where it's due, man. Hey, you got 21 zip. Probably one of the most hated basketball players in the YouTube community, MK is wild and a toxic hooper who is infamous for trash talk and overall cockiness. So when he participated in the House of Highlights tournament and was going up against Devontae Frigga, everyone was expecting Matt to lose, or at least everyone was wishing so. However, MK wasn't just any random trash talk. He was cocky indeed, but he could back it up on the basketball court. This is your favorite YouTuber? This is your favorite YouTuber? Oh my god. He beat Frigga and talked trash to his face. Devontae couldn't really do anything about it because MK had won. He was in his head. Fast forward to a month or so and both of them made it to the playoffs and had to face each other once again. MK didn't slow down with the trash talk and went even further being caught in the air. In the dub ski. 11-5, 11-3. If y'all bet against me, exit. 50k is going to be inserted into my TD bank account. If that's your favorite YouTuber, that's your favorite YouTuber. And 
just like last time, MK acted just how he acted before. Talked smack and beat Frigga, upsetting everyone who was watching. Oh, I mean Whether you love him or hate him, cocky or confident, you can't deny the fact that MK can actually hoop. Thank you guys for tuning in to the 1v1 channel. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you subscribe and check me out on Instagram at Chris the Director. Also follow my YouTube as well, The Director. Thanks for watching. I'm always trying to walk a line between us. So pay no mind to my pride. I don't